Hello there and welcome to Booze and Nibbles. On today's video we are making a rich and sweet vanilla custard tartlet with a sour apple jelly on top that complements our uh, Calvados base cocktail. So let's start with making the dough for our tartlets. So we'll start with 105 grams of pastry flour, 20 grams of almond meal, we are flavoring the dough with cinnamon, so we use one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And we finish the dry ingredients with 60 grams of powdered sugar. Sift everything into your stand mixer bowl. Attach the bowl on your stand mixer and make a well in the center of your flour mixture. Add the wet ingredients, which are 80 grams of room temperature butter and an egg yolk. Start mixing on low speed and add a teaspoon of cold water to help the dough get together and mix until all the ingredients are fully incorporated. Generously flour your workbench. Finish up working the dough by hand. It should feel really soft but should not be tacky. Wrap the dough in cling film and refrigerate overnight. Once it has fully rested, it's time to roll the dough. We're going to roll it to a thickness of about half a centimeter. Brush off the excess flour and we are going to cut it to prepare our tartlet mold. I am using a one and a half inches round cookie cutter as a baking mold for our uh, pastry shells. Use the cookie cutter to cut the base of the pastry shell and then cut stripes of dough which are about a centimeter wider than the height of your baking mold. Preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Line up your baking mold, the base and the sides, making sure that they are well stuck together and we are going to blind bake those pastry shells for about 20 minutes or until golden brown. Now it's time to move on to our vanilla custard. Pour 250 milliliters of heavy cream into a small saucepan. Split a vanilla pod in half, scrap the seeds and put the seeds in the pod into the saucepan. Bring it to a boil, remove it from the heat and let it infuse for about 15 minutes. While our cream and vanilla are heating up, we are going to prepare the egg mixture of our custard. In a metal bowl, combine three egg yolks, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 45 grams of caster sugar. To achieve a very rich and decadent custard, we are typically using one egg yolk for every 80 milliliters of whipped cream. Combine all the ingredients by whisking very energetically until the mixture is creamed. It should turn whitish in color and be aerated and fluffy. Now that our cream has been infused and our eggs creamed, we are going to temper the egg yolks. To do that, slowly add about a third of the time of the heated cream to the egg mixture whisking well in between each addition. Once the cream is fully incorporated, return the mixture into a clean saucepan. We are going to cook it some more in order to thicken the custard. The ideal temperature is about 160 Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius to achieve the perfect consistency. Cooking it to higher temperatures will only give you a scrambly texture and an eggy flavor to the custard. So really be careful in not overcooking the mixture. Refrigerate your custard for at least two hours. Once chilled, it is time to assemble your tartlets. Take out the pastry shells first. Clean up the rim using a microplane to make it really smooth and even. Line up a piping bag into a coffee mug. We're gonna pour the chilled custard into the piping bag and use that to fill up our pastry shells. 
Here I really want the creaminess of the custard and the vanilla flavor to be the stars of the show. So I'm using a generous amount for each tartlet. I fill each shell with 40 grams of that vanilla custard and I let it set in the fridge for another two hours. The last component of our dish today is an apple jelly. To make the jelly, we are using 200 milliliters of clarified Granny Smith apple juice. Make sure to check our agar clarification recipe in the basic technique section to know more about clarified liquids. To that, add 4 grams of powdered gelatin. Whisk well to fully disperse the gelatin and bring it to a boil to activate. Let it cool down to room temperature before using it. Pour the room temperature apple jelly into a small serving bottle. That will make the layering work much more easier to perform. Take out your pastry shells from the fridge. By now the vanilla custard should be nice and set. Using the small serving bottle, layer a half a centimeter thick layer of apple jelly. Return the pastry shells in the fridge to let the jelly set for another one hour at least. The tanginess of the Granny Smith apple will balance really well the richness and the sweetness of the vanilla custard to make that dish overall very well balanced. To unmold our tartlets, gently heat up the sides of the ring mold using a blowtorch. It should come off fairly easily. Still using the blowtorch, quickly heat up the jelly on top of the tartlet to give it a quick shine. Here you go guys, those are our vanilla and apple tartlets. I hope you like them. Don't forget to like and comment below and we'll see you next time.